ever notice how one tiny stress sets off every old injury at once? Yeah! Apparently my body keeps a grudge file. That grudge has a name. Meet Substance P. This little starburst symbol is our troublemaker. You might be wondering, what does the P stand for? The answer is absolutely nothing. Some unimaginative researcher said, eh, just call it P and we'll fill in the details later. And here we are, 40 years later, still stuck with the most passive aggressive letter. Anyway, substance P is a neuropeptide, a pain messenger. When the ACC and insula start screaming, something's wrong, it charges straight to the hypothalamus and slams the CRH trigger, basically pouring espresso on your alarm system. Once CRH is lit, again, adrenaline and norepinephrine leap into action, followed by cortisol for the endurance round. Congratulations, you just unlocked hard mode. So, substance P is like that dude who hears a fire drill and yells, we're all gonna die! Then trips the alarm again just to make sure everyone heard him. Exactly. And now here's the twist. Substance P isn't evil. It's just a jerk. It evolved to make sure real danger gets attention. But in trauma survivors, the system miscalibrates. The alarm never resets. So every spark feels like a five alarm blaze. It keeps shouting, pain, even when the threat is over. Then it hands the starter pistol back to CRH for an encore. You can calm the chaos by draining its fuel. Breath work, grounding, movement, and self-talk that names what's actually happening. Because clarity turns the megaphone into a walkie-talkie. But trust me, if you think Substance P is a jerk now, Wait until you see what it does in round three. Tomorrow, we'll be wrapping up round two by meeting the dynamic duo it powers, adrenaline and norepinephrine, the speed and precision pair.